In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the index cards feature of Final Draft for reordering your scenes really quickly and for outlining your story. Hi, this is Bela from the Writer's Territory. I'm going to show you the index cards feature of Final Draft and how you can use it for outlining your story, reordering your scenes easily, and how you can work with index cards and your script side by side at the same time. If you want to start using index cards, go to the View menu and there you have two options, Index Cards Summary and Index Cards Script. For now, let's choose Index Cards Summary. Real index cards have two sides you can write on. For example, you can write some ideas, notes or the function of a scene in the story on one side and the content of the scene on the other. Works the same way in Final Draft. Here in the Summary view, you can add your notes or a summary or whatever you like. Write your headline here at the top and your summary on the card itself. Add as many cards as you like. If you want to see the other side of the card, so to speak, choose Script View. Now, what you'll notice is you can't write on your card in this view. If I click on it, nothing happens. That's because in the Script View, Final Draft shows you the content of the scene in your script. Since we haven't written a scene yet, there is nothing Final Draft can show us. So, let's go to our script and write a few lines. If you want to see your index card side by side with your script, use these buttons here at the top, and then choose View, Script, Page View. Alright, let's just add an action line here and see what happens. As you can see, the text I enter in my scene appears on my index card as well. This makes the index card feature very useful for reordering your scenes. Let's just add a few scenes more. Now, pick the card of the scene you want to reorder and drag it into its new place. The scenes in the script update accordingly. But index cards are also useful for outlining. Let's go back to summary view. This is where you can brainstorm the hell out of your story. If you want to use different colors for your cards, just like in the real world, right click and pick one. If you want to adjust how many index cards you see on one screen, you can do that if you go to view cards across. Of course, you can also change font type and size in the format font menu. Once you're done outlining, you might want to transfer your summaries to your script so that you can use these notes to write your scenes. If you want to do that, either right click on the card or go to Insert Send to Script and your summary will appear as action lines in your scene. If you like this video and you're here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. I want to help you find the perfect writing software for you and help you with problems and questions you might have about the software you already own, so you can go back to your writing as quickly as possible and spread the important stories and messages you want to share with others and hopefully enrich other people's lives. If you want to get in contact with me, the links are down below. Just drop me a message and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Have fun writing everybody. See you. Bye.